Hello guys, on today's video we are going to talk about how to build your computer and where to start. So we're going to start off with number one, select the PC case and which PC case you want to get. Number two, we're going to talk about select your motherboard and the latest models. Number three, choose your DDR3 RAM or DDR4 if you're going with X99 line of motherboards. Number four, we're going to select your chipset, AMD or Intel, depending on what my motherboard you get. Number five, we are going to select your graphics card. Number six, we are going to select, and I'm going to recommend, your power supply. Number seven, we are going to talk about a hard drive or an SSD and the boot times. So get ready, get your pen and paper because you are going to learn how to build a computer today the easy way, the baby steps. Hello guys, hello my friends. Today we're going to talk about where to start to build your PC. So I named this video, Build Your First PC Baby Steps. Now I'm going to talk about Intel, Intel line of motherboards and PC. Sadly, I do not own an AMD computer, so I mean, I have a little bit of knowledge when it comes to AMD, but in you know, my opinion, I do not lean to AMD. I do not know why. I like Intel. Now, let's talk about this and how to start your first PC. Step number one, select your PC case. Make sure it's ATX so you can buy yourself an ATX motherboard. Make sure it's air optimized for great airflow. You don't want things overheating inside that case, inside of that computer. You do not want that. Make sure it's great airflow to keep all your components cool. Now there is different type of cases like I said there is micro ATX there's some pictures in the background there's a full-size case ATX and there is a mid tower ATX which is what I got I got a mid tower ATX step number two select your motherboard so now we're talking we're talking Intel here but there are two lines of motherboards. There's Intel and there's AMD. Okay, so make sure you select whichever way you want to go. You can go with AMD or you can go with Intel. There are different brands. It's like Asus, Gigabyte, EVGA, and some others that I can't remember at the moment. Let's move on into the next step. What are the important things? It's selecting your RAM. What does the RAM do on your computer? Well, the RAM, the memory RAM allows your computer to perform faster. Like if you're a video editor and if you are a video gamer like me, I am a video gamer and sometimes I plug in my uh, 3.0 USB and I have my 16 gigs of RAM running and I got a 10 minute HD 4K quality video and I want to transfer it. If you have plenty of RAM, which 16 gigs is an overkill, 8 gigs of RAM is perfect for gaming. But if you are a video editor, a YouTuber like me, you want to have at least 16 gigs of RAM. Now you can go up to 32 gigs of RAM. For the C97 and the C87 um, Intel motherboards, there is only one brand or one kind of RAM. It's called DDR3. Now, there are so many brands. There's the Ripjaz, there's the Corsair. I can go on and on and on about different brands of RAM. But what you have to know is the RAM goes by megahertz. There's 1333 megahertz. There is 1600 megahertz, 1866 megahertz, and I think 3200 megahertz, I believe so. I could be wrong. When it comes to the megahertz, you want to get the highest megahertz, which for 16 gigs of RAM running at 1866 megahertz, it, it, it would be perfect for gaming. 
make sure that you select the best RAM. If you want any idea of what RAM you should get, well, leave your questions you know, on the comment section and I'm sure somebody is going to try and help you. And if you have any other questions, then I will make another video blog answering all of your questions. But make sure that you know that the C97 and the C87 line of motherboards Intel, they only go up to 32 gigs of RAM. So make sure that you select a good RAM for your C97 motherboard. Number four, we're gonna talk about the chipset. There is not really much to talk about chipset. Ooh, what are you talking about, Creeper? Okay, 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 okay. There is only two options that I'm going to give you. If you're running a C97 motherboard, you want to get the i7-4790K Devil's Canyon. It's the best for gaming and video production. There's nothing else to talk about here. But if you don't have that kind of money, right now the i7-4790K runs about, well, I purchased mine, it was $329, I believe. And, and uh, you can overclock it. Now the i7-4790, you cannot overclock. It. Okay, now those, those two right there are top of the line right now. I'm not going to include the X99. The X99, it's a whole different deal. Right now, I'm teaching you how to build a computer and where to go and the steps where to go. Now from here, you make your choices. If you need an idea creeper, can you make a list of components where I can, or on how to start my build, the list of components and it's going to be on the description. But if you still have part of their questions, then I will make a video and answer your questions. I recommend the i7-4790K for overclocking if you're an overclocker. Now, if you know about computing and PC building, then you know what I'm talking about. If you're just a gamer and don't really care for, you know, video rendering and such and such, you can go and you can get the i5, the i5 series. In my opinion, get the i7, the i7 series, get the i7-4790 if you're a gamer. So when you're running Shadow Play or when you're running your AMD graphics card or your uh, Nvidia graphics card, you don't get bottlenecks. Make sure you have a badass RAM and make sure you have the i7-4790. Creeper24 recommends that to you. The core processor, the CPU, the CPU is very important. Okay, it, it, it's like, wow, it's what processes everything and it uses the RAM to work your computer, you know, and to have the best performance. All right, guys, so now we got, we cover the motherboard, we cover the case, we cover the RAM, and we cover the CPU. Some of the most important stuff when it comes to gaming and when it comes to video editing. All right. Let's talk about the graphics cards. The GPU. Now, once again, I said AMD covers also graphics cards. They go with motherboards and graphics cards. With Intel, you can use AMD and Nvidia graphics cards. There's two lines of graphics cards. And like I said one more time, there's so many brands so many designs of graphics cards so which is the newest i would say the 290x the r9 290x is one of the newest from amd and from nvidia the newest one is the gtx 970 where which it runs for like 326 dollars very cheap even cheaper than the 780ti and it performs just about the same if you're looking to get a graphics card and if you don't want to spend a lot of money but you want high performance and a lot of frames per second and 4k quality make sure you get the gtx 970 now the other graphics card that runs for about 556 dollars it's the 980 i'm promoting i'm kind of promoting the new line of graphics cards because i want the best for you so instead of saying down on the comments, Creeper, I can get the GTX 770s and still play 4K resolutions. Well, then keep on playing your graphics card. I mean, I I'm not downgrading them. The games that are being released now, they are being made for these newer 
graphics cards. So pretty soon your 770 is going to be outdated. Your 550, your 650 or 670, it's going to be outdated. My GTX 780 Ti is outdated already. And I purchased it not even three months ago. Do I feel sad? <laughs> All right, guys, I about covered everything, but I was forgetting something very important. The power supply. The power supply is very, very important. Make sure that you get 80 plus gold power supply. And I am going to recommend the EVG series G2750. Now you can go up to 1000 watts, but I think 750 watt power supply does the job perfect. A storage and operating system where you should install Windows. Well, you want to install Windows on an SSD and you want to have your games on a hard drive. Now, why do you say that Creeper? Well, I'm going to say why. Everything has been proven till this day that everything, any operating system, any game loads faster, way, way, way faster on an SSD than on a hard drive. Now, on my personal choice, I got my operating system on my computer. I got Windows 8.1 Pro. I have it installed on a 240 gig SSD. Now my Windows, my startup is 12 seconds. My computer is up and running, ready to go. Imagine that, 12 seconds. Now when I, when I use my iMac, it takes about one minute, one minute and a half before everything is up and running. Like everything is up and running. It's it, it's a huge, huge difference. Now, there are so many videos of people comparing hard drives versus SSDs. And the SSD is going to take the lead 100%. Now, if your budget, it's, you know, if you're doing a computer PC build budget in whatever amount, then you can go with a hard drive. Your load time is going to be a little slower, but there's people that do not give a shit about that. This right here covers what you need to do to build yourself and to start your gaming PC. Now, the most important thing that you should do is go on newegg.com select the graphics card select the motherboard that you want and for the brand that you want and read the reviews it's very important for you to read the reviews when i built my first pc i got a c87 motherboard asus 6 formula c87 and i bought the newest generation of intel the i7 4790 so i started playing the computer i hook it up and everything and i didn't know that i had to update the bias of the motherboard and i actually i want to thank tech uploaded because he's the one that walked me through and how to do all this stuff so guys this wraps it up for this episode if you have another question please let me know and i'd be so freaking happy to answer it and also i will recommend a good gaming monitor for under $300. In the next video on how to build a computer, I'm going to do a video hands on installing everything. It's going to be very interesting. So stay tuned and stay put and be ready and be on the lookout for the next video because I already almost have everything to assemble the new computer so you can see how to build it.